Good afternoon uh, and welcome to Baltic Horizon Fund's um, semi-annual webinar, uh, where um, the latest update of the fund uh, will be given uh, based on um, mostly of the Q2 uh, uh, results and, and uh, the main events of Q2, uh, but also looking back, uh, you know, uh, for the past uh, six months and, and also uh, past uh, 12 months, I would say, uh, in some uh, instances. So, uh, as usual, I plan to give uh, a roughly 40-minute uh, presentation and uh, then uh, during the presentation, uh, try to answer as many questions um, as possible that were re received already previously uh, before the, the webinar. And uh, in case I miss something, then uh, I will respond uh, specifically uh, to those emails. So let's get started. Um, and yes, of course, questions can be asked also uh, here uh, in, in this webinar. So it's been a very eventful uh, past six months and um, many of the important uh, events have uh, mat uh, materialized uh, only in second quarter. Um, so uh, most importantly, I think, um, um, uh, what's been on, on investors' mind and also our primary goal is to refinance the bond uh, of uh, 50 million. Um, and um, uh, that bond uh, was maturing um, on, uh, on the 8th of May this year, uh, not the best time, uh, but uh, negotiations for, for this bond already started uh, last year. Uh, last summer uh, after the war had started and there was still quite a lot of uncertainty in the market um, uh, but um, there were various uh, there was a question on, on you know what sort of uh, uh, bond solutions did we consider and um, uh, there were various solutions um, of course it was um, necessary for us to um, to make sure that we can do the the bond at the lowest possible level uh, that's where we we uh, try to refinance uh, many of our loans with the banks um, uh, during the second half of uh, 2022. Um, of course, that wasn't easy either uh, because of of the situation, uncertainty, and uh, and the, the discussions with the banks. Uh, so led to us uh, to understand that we we needed to also sell uh, sell a few properties. Uh, but uh, but the banks being conservative, you know, we weren't allowed to uh, to use uh, you know the whole uh, proceeds from the disposals uh, for the bond and uh, and uh, had to pay back some some bank loans um, in addition. So we were considering for some time, you know, whether to do a public offering uh, of the bond, uh, targeting uh, all investors um, across uh, the Baltics and the Nordics uh, to reach a level of, of 35, uh, 40 million euros. Um, and alternatively, uh, we discussed uh, the, the, with our top uh, bond investors, um, the local uh, pension funds, uh, whether you know uh, a private uh, debt or private bond could be a better alternative, uh, and um, then we reached uh, reached a conclusion beginning of this year where uh, we decided not to go through with the public offering of the bond. Um, uh, potentially, you know, uh, we we could have um, achieved uh, very similar, I think, terms. Uh, maybe slightly slightly better, but the execution risk we considered it uh, very high, um, uh, especially uh, since the amount um, was was quite sizable. And um, then we we were able to agree on on certain terms with um, uh, two local Estonian uh, bond investors, uh, one of whom was a previous investor, the second one is a new investor. A structured uh, new bond where we could uh, reduce the bond amount uh, within the next uh, 12 months so until May of 2024 and then uh, have the um, uh, bond uh, for five year term, uh, but uh, be able to um, repay back the remainder of the bond uh, after two and a half years. 
um, uh, with certain uh, prepayment um, fees. Uh, so um, that was what we believe uh, the best uh, possible result uh, we could achieve uh, in uh, in the market, and uh, and I think comparably. You know, uh, looking at similar bonds, uh, we were priced uh, quite similarly, uh, considering the size of the bond um, and the situation in the market. Uh, then, what happened uh, in the in the second quarter? Uh, we we did uh, sell sell a few properties. Um, uh, Thomas Pro to a local real estate fund and uh, and to head offices to uh, to East East Capital. Uh, I think overall we could say today we're quite happy with the results of, of, of these transactions, being able to free up uh, free up money, and um, I I think that probably in the second half of the year um, we would we would not be able to achieve uh, these these terms uh, that we were able to achieve beginning of the year uh, with these transactions. Um, so. And we have uh, paid back now first tranche of the of the twenty million uh, bond, but I will get back to that a bit later. Uh, you know, there has been uh, several questions about that. Um, just uh, a bit to note note here that uh, we also have yes, a new chairman of the supervisor board here in um, in Estonia, the Estonian management company being Lars, and uh, the previous. Um, uh, Supervisor board member is currently uh, on on uh, on a medical leave. Uh, so uh, yes, Lars has stepped in um, as the founder and and also a a a, a considerably considerable unit holder in the Baltic Horizon Fund as the supervisory uh, board chairman uh, since the summer. Um, and Europa, uh, yes, uh, shopping centre has sh has shown now the the first results uh, of the turnaround, and, and we did receive a, a little award of, for that as well. So just quickly uh, remind about the um, the properties um, uh, that we had, um, um, and we were able to successfully exit. Um, um, and uh, you know, free up as much equity as possible. Um, uh, both, yeah, Thomas Pro and Tueto. So um, going forward, uh, you know, we have now a, a slightly reduced portfolio, um, and uh, still our our top tenants um, are. You know the Latvian State Forest, the Remi, uh, the Sinem, and um, and some of the others. Um, net rental income, you know, is still, um, uh, let's say, uh, rather rather um, uh, equally uh, sort of um, uh, divided between retail, leisure, and office segments. Uh, so um, probably the office segment part will uh, will. Um, Will decrease a bit now in the second half of the year because of the disposals, and uh, also there is uh, SEB, uh, which uh, is one of uh, the largest tenants in our portfolio, uh, is uh, moving out uh, now shortly, um, and uh, the new tenant uh, uh, hopefully will move in uh, uh, right away to start uh, the um, uh, preparation works and and uh, be able then to move in. Uh, to some of the vacancy created by SCB in first of first of January. Um, perhaps a side note: uh, there was a, a question on uh, on how um, uh, how our organization works, and and that um, so we have uh, the management company um, in um, in Estonia where some people are employed, and uh, then we have also. A sister company in Lithuania, where other people are employed, uh, including you know the financial, um, uh, the controlling, uh, the uh, the treasury and the fund administration team. So um, that um, uh, is our uh, Baltic Horizon, I would say, management team. Um, the management fee that. Uh, you know, is paid by the fund is is for those services and um, and as well, of course, investments and disposals. 
Um, but um, but we do work with uh, outsource, outsourcing partners, um, uh, CBRE, NewSec, uh, that uh, help us to manage the properties on a daily basis, find new tenants, and and uh, we we call them sort of as an extended team because we work so closely together with them. Um, so uh, and there's uh, there's quite a quite a lot of people across the Baltics uh, on the ground and uh, and also in several offices um, that that uh, that we consider our, our close colleagues with this. Uh, so and we do have separate teams for Europa. We do have separate team for for Galleria centers uh, with the property manager and and uh, also the the marketing and and and, and, and these managers. Uh, so um, I think all, all in all, we have about you know uh, 30, 40 people uh, working on the on the fund and asset management side of of, of Baltic Horizon. And um, so currently, our main focus is going on um, on the occupancies, increasing of the occupancies, and maintaining the occupancies of the of the portfolio. Um, so there is some progress made uh, in, in Europa. There's uh, also some progress made in Galleria. Um, uh, I think this is also a good slide uh, depicting that um, that uh, the past quarters were, were probably the lowest uh, quarters of, of uh, our centrally located properties. Um, and uh, because many of the premises were were vacated uh, for uh, the food halls to to be reconstructed uh, and for many other tenants to move in so uh, we have seen now especially in q2 um, a, a considerable uh, recovery in those centers um, and um, also we can see that from the like for like assets uh, comparison um, when we uh, look at this uh, summary here um, it is true that uh, duetos and uh, Domus Pros uh, will not contribute to the, to the rental income um, in the second half of the year, but um, we, it still looks like uh, you know that we are uh, you know aiming aiming to um, to achieve an NOI for the for the year between thirteen and thirteen and a half million uh, euros. Um, <clears throat> so. Um, I think. Um, yeah, if, if to uh, disregard uh, uh, the the properties that were were disposed, uh, then uh, our portfolio um, remained uh, quite stable uh, in the second quarter, um, and and uh, did show uh, recovery in in the NOI, um, specifically in Galleria and and Europa, and uh, based on the contracts and what we what we see. Uh, the new tenants moving in, we see a continuous recovery happening in the second half of the year. Um, however, at the same time, uh, we've had some um, increase in vacancy, uh, or will have now in the, in the third quarter in, in Upmalas and LNK Center. Um, in LNK Center, we had uh, we have two um, uh, tenants, and one of them uh, uh, took uh, quite a bit of time to understand what exactly are their office needs. Um, and uh, going forward, um, it's it's an IT technology company, um, and uh, they finally decided that they would like to reduce and uh, reduce uh, well, almost uh, almost uh, half of half of their space that they had. So uh, yeah, new tenant searches are ongoing, and as I mentioned in Upalas, uh, we already have uh, one uh, large tenant that uh, would take. Uh, a little bit less than than half of the created vacancy from hopefully from January uh, next year. So um, there was um, also a question on um, on uh, you know how efficiently is our our fund our fund managed and um, that. Uh, uh, you know, roughly around thirty percent of the um, of the rental income um, um, is for administrative and property management uh, 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 charges, and and this I would say um, has been influenced. It's a bit high, uh, you know. If if you ask me, and 
um, compared to the market, uh, you know, I think the good level will be anywhere between 15 and 25 percent. Uh, I think one of the largest streets uh, today has uh, has around 24 uh, percent. I think Citicon, as a comparison, around 17 percent. Um, we've had some additional costs related to the bond um, refinancing, uh, as well the vacancies. Uh, um, have created additional expenses for the for the fund uh, uh, for the for the landlord to 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 cover. Uh, historically, uh, we've had a um, a uh, uh, cost recovery percentage of the, in the portfolio or in the properties at around uh, ninety percent of all uh, service charges being recovered. Um, and uh, that's where our goal is right now is to. Uh, achieve that when uh, we have the vacancies reduced and uh, and uh, new tenants signed in so the new agreements um, are to, to the vast vast majority signed as triple net so that definitely uh, what, what we see also in Galleria and Europa now with uh, the vacancies being uh, filled out that it's a double positive effect as previously it was a double negative effect on the NOI but the positive effect that not only we receive rent, but also recovery of the charges. Uh, so we do expect uh, that ratio to improve. And, uh, and as I mentioned, I think our, um, you know, our target is to, to bring it down to, uh, you know, anywhere between 15 to 25 percent. I think realistically it's, it's around 20, uh, 21 percent um, when the buildings are all uh, filled out. Um, overall, yeah, we did have some increase in, in, in financial uh, expenses, as um, you know, I, will, I will also talk about that um, a bit later. Mm. Uh, so our um, balance sheet uh, at this moment um, is, is the following. Uh, uh, we did have to um, accept um, some of... Uh, the, the devaluation of our, our properties that uh, influenced our our um, our balance sheet. Um, uh, so um, and um, we have also uh, paid uh, now partially back the bond, uh, seven point five million euros. Um, so um, there's been some questions: why seven point five million? Why not? You know why why not more? Why why not less? Then um, from our side, this is, um, you know, very, very specific uh, cash management uh, discussion. And, uh, uh, and I think it's, it's quite uh, clear that we do have uh, several uh, also bank loans still to be uh, renegotiated and, and prolonged. Uh, they are all in progress. Uh, we have successfully uh, prolonged uh, with a new bank, or let's say signed a new bank loan for Ukmolas Biroi, um, for LNK, uh, the, the loan uh, can be extended uh, the, the, at similar terms, uh, but also the Galleria Centre's loan um, is coming up uh, beginning of next year. So we try to be very prudent uh, and uh, to understand uh, how these um, how these uh, um, let's say uh, different uh, aspects of um, of uh, of our daily life will uh, uh, will will uh, find a solution. Um, in addition, of course, um, uh, we we have been also offered uh, some. Um, proposals to, to dispose uh, some other properties. So we are also considering that. Uh, um, but I think from the bond uh, repayment uh, point of view uh, that, you know, we will do it uh, as prudently as possible um, in, in tranches and uh, probably not more than three tranches uh, before, before the year end. Um, uh, so uh, yes, it, it, it will cost, um, uh, uh, slightly, slightly more to keep the expensive bond, but we do have to consider other things as well, and um, and not just uh, just uh, pay back the bond, um, you know, uh, and and um, 
and so it give us challenges for, for further uh, cash management uh, topics. The, um, the, the the leverage of the disposals and of the revaluations is around uh, 57%. Uh, as we have said, openly, we continue to uh, um, to de de deleverage. Uh, we continue to find ways how to uh, uh, you know um, use uh, new bank debt um, to pay back the the more most expensive bond. It's priority for us to reduce the bond. Uh, I think that's clear. We've announced it several times, and there's various ways how we can do that. Um, and uh, again, it's uh, either uh, either new cheaper bank loans uh, upon improvement of of uh, our uh, NOI in, in certain properties, um, or further disposals, which are also not uh, out of the question. Uh, we rather would uh, keep more cash uh, in um, uh, in our balance sheet uh, than um, than than less. And if we find uh, proposals reasonable for certain properties that we have, um, uh, uh, we will consider disposing them as well. Our goal, of course, is to continue and, and prolong the debt maturity as much as uh, possible uh, yes around two years is um, is uh, is quite uh, a low figure but uh, we work with the banks as as, mu as, as much as we can um, and um, with uh, new long-term leases uh, uh, we do uh, hope to uh, have also more long-term um, uh, bank loans. Uh, we're quite happy with Upmala uh, Spiroi refinancing uh, with a relatively new uh, but small uh, bank uh, in, in Latvia, Riga, called uh, Blue Orange. So uh, they are our uh, new partner uh, now. And, um, and uh, I think, uh, you know, we work with all the banks that are today in the market and, and uh, discuss various proposals. Uh, so, uh, and uh, happy to see that these uh, new up and coming banks are uh, eager to also gain market share um, and uh, therefore offer quite uh, competitive terms uh, and, and actually, in this case, best, best terms uh, offered uh, by, by um, Blue Orange Bank. Um, in regards to our hedging policy, um, uh, we still have quite a few hedges. Um, with different uh, maturity dates. Uh, and uh, yes, these uh, hedges are, are uh, you know, loan by loan, uh, maturity by maturity, um, uh, being, uh, being uh, removed. Uh, but, uh, you know, our answer there is, is that we, during this time, you know, aim to pay back the bond as much as possible, because again, this is the, most expensive uh, bond that uh, or the loan that we have, that instrument. And if one would ask, you know, would we uh, want to pay back uh, the whole bond, uh, the whole 42 million uh, as soon as possible, then the uh, answer is yes. Of course, that uh, also needs a specific uh, agreement with the bondholders uh, who have said that they, you know, theoretically they could be open for that. Uh, so um, of course it's a commercial agreement, uh, and and uh, we're looking for ways how to do that. But of course, primary goal is to pay back the first twenty million uh, before this year end. Um, but at the moment, uh, the hedges still help us, regardless of the of the very expensive bond. Uh, our average cost of debt in in Q two was four point two percent. I think it's reasonable to expect that this will be increasing uh, over the next uh, few quarters, uh, uh, but I don't think uh, the increase will be too astronomical. Mm. <laughs> so, no, so yes, the the hedges still uh, help us uh, today. It's um, today difficult to say, um, you know, have the hedges paid off. Uh, but I would, um, you know, from from it, because it's too early. Depends on uh, this. Depends on how long the the high interest rate environment will uh, will will stay. Uh, probably today it looks like uh, it, it's gonna stay here longer than than 
you know was expected beginning of the year uh, but also understanding what uh, you know a, more or less uh, if i recall correctly what we paid for those hedges uh, back in the day then uh, i think uh, i think they should be paying off definitely uh, and uh, but i think a more specific calculation needs to be done for that and uh, we will we will do that uh, for 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 this year when the when the full year is over and uh, hopefully also have a have a um have a paragraph there about that in the in the annual report going forward um so we've analyzed our properties thoroughly and uh, you know we yes we on one hand you know we are uh, in the process of deleveraging uh, um selling um, our uh, you know secondary assets in secondary locations where we feel that uh, we can get the best price today and and uh, and on a long term perspective where we can only add limited value um then clearly you know we've been you know hit by by several by uh, by several uh, uh, different uh, crises over the past three years, starting from from COVID, and the COVID did have um, a strong effect on our centrally located properties. But today, um, we have already made some progress, and and we're confident that we can uh, make even better pro progress with our centrally located asset leasing. Um, so uh, the work is cut out for us, but uh, but uh, you know the several scenarios, but. Um, but we do see that that um, uh, there's definitely interest in our vacancies. There are several negotiations on, on uh, still ongoing. Uh, we have signed several leases already, um, but the levels of rents uh, that we could get from these new uh, concepts uh, are uh, very attractive. So um, and they're long-term leases. So so it's definitely where our main focus is going today. And uh, we see an upside potential in our portfolio, you know, with uh, with indexations and and uh, and vacancy re reductions of uh, of around four and a half million uh, that we have calculated today. Um, yes, it would need some uh, some investments, and that's what uh, we are also uh, preparing for over the next uh, twelve to eighteen months uh, in order to achieve the full uh, potential. But uh, but we definitely see that investing uh, that uh, one million of euro uh, into into these lease agreements, uh, into these uh, uh, tenants, and and reducing the the the. The vacancy and, and getting better cost coverage is is uh, is absolutely worth it. Um, it's uh, what we see also from the food hall uh, investment calculation uh, uh, that uh, you know investing uh, investing around two million. Uh, you know we have uh, um, you know at le at least the beginning we have the return of uh, of around 20% uh, of of that uh, of that investment so achieved uh, even higher rent uh, more than 20% 20 euros per square meter for the fourth floor in galleria so so we see that that it is it is possible and and when you get the concept right when you get the tenants right and um, and uh, that's what we see today also for the portfolio. Um, and uh, here in more detail, these are the four assets uh, that have the highest uh, vacancy today. Um, yes, we haven't uh, found the anchor, uh, anchor uh, tenant in Merak yet, but um, there are several tenants uh, again looking at it and uh, maybe we're making test fits for them. Um, so we're trying to agree on, on commercial terms. Um, so it's just, again, a matter of time when we will be able to lease it out because in that area, again, it is the best and the newest uh, office building in the area. Office tenants uh, need to make certain upgrades uh, for their fit outs in order to attract people back to the offices. So that is all working uh, in our favor. Um, of course, at the same time, competition uh, for, for new tenants uh, um, in Vilnius is um, is uh, strong, 
um, uh, quite a few older properties uh, that uh, have, have have increased vacancies, um, but uh, the work continues. Um, in regards to Postimaja and, and the cinema, uh, there is quite simple. Uh, the Postimaja agreements have all been prolonged. Uh, um, uh, the, the last vacancy, uh, we have a tenant in place. It's not signed yet, but uh, we need to sign it uh, shortly. The tenants, as well as I, we are you know, expecting the tram line to be completed. And, um, and then with the cinema, the, you know, we need to sign two lease agreements, one for the ground floor, uh, where negotiations are gone, ongoing as well with several uh, anchors and then uh, finalized talks with Apollo who would take the remainder of the of the property uh, second floor until uh, until the, the sixth floor uh, see our business is doing well uh, recovered uh, very quickly as has you know the fitness uh, um, segment uh, so um, so in that sense we're comfortable and actually quite quite happy uh, to have such uh, a segment in our portfolio as, as a cinema. Uh, people need entertainment and uh, relatively cheap entertainment. So uh, so uh, that's definitely, um, that shows also in the results. With, um, with Europa, we are working on the third floor, which is a, prim a prim primary topic, how to uh, lease out uh, that half of the third floor uh, to, uh, um, well, to tenants that are not in retail segment, so uh, in other segments to improve the tenant mix, improve the, the property and, and make it more mixed use. We see it a game changer and, uh, and several negotiations ongoing. And um, again, I hope to, hope to make further announcements um, in upcoming periods. Um, and uh, and Galleria Center has uh, mentioned already about the food hall um, market, which is coming in November, uh, uh, improvements in H&M uh, um, store, and, uh, but, but also search for new anchors um, on the fourth and fifth floor continues. Uh, uh, also, I think mixed use to the properties will most likely be uh, related to either offices or, or clinics or, or, uh, or also gym. So um, we know what we have to do and, and uh, you know, hard work is being put on uh, by the teams um, in order to achieve those uh, new leases. Um, so to um, make a Maybe a recap here. Uh, you know, this is where uh, where we're uh, we are focused on. You know, if we believe that we can still get the best, uh, you know, uh, price today uh, at an acceptable level um, for some of our assets that we don't see long term potential, uh, we will consider selling them. We continue to deleverage, continue to cash up. Uh, for the coming uh, uh, 12 to 18 month uh, period, uh, we want to pay back the bond. Uh, we want to have uh, some funds for the uh, uh, for the um, uh, capex fit out investments that uh, that would be needed to achieve uh, improved NOI. Um, if we achieve improved NOI, we are able to. Um, get better financing terms with the banks. And that's definitely what we want to achieve as well, because compared to the bond, uh, bank financing is still very, very competitive and uh, much cheaper. And some of our LTVs in some of our properties are, are, are very low at the moment uh, because of the recovery happening. So, so that's, uh, that's one side of the coin as well, um, of what needs to be solved uh, for the upcoming um, six to 12 months and um, as I mentioned you know several um, several lease agreements have already been signed and uh, a lot of them under negotiations and uh, and bit by bit uh, you know we we are confident that we can uh, increase the um, occupancy of uh, our top assets already now over the next six uh, six to 12 months but uh, but there are many more things that I cannot maybe announce today that are are um, 
uh, are um, in 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 motion. So, uh, but um, but yeah, this uh, I think this slide definitely summarizes the uh, uh, the action plan that uh, that uh, currently is in in motion. Uh, let me see if uh, I have uh, some questions here. Uh huh. So um, <clears throat> there was a question also on the NOI drop of, uh, from 1.4 to 1.2 uh, last uh, month, and that is uh, directly to do with the uh, disposal of, of Tuetos. Uh, yes, there was some indexation, but um, but yeah, the let's say the new level of the NOI is 1.2, and I think it is reasonable to assume that the the um, annual NOI will be roughly 13 to yeah, 13 and a half million euros. Uh, so um, let me see, there are more questions. Um, Um, the question on, on the office market. Um, so um, how do I see the office market uh, uh, today? Um, uh, I would say that um, office market uh, generally works uh, fine. And there are pro uh, tenants that are looking to um, find more efficiencies, uh, especially in, in certain segments. Uh, uh, such as IT and, and probably financial um, uh, services to to some extent. Uh, uh, then again, uh, you know, real estate, real estate development. Uh, we definitely don't see that. Uh, rather, the opposite. Uh, and um, in that sense, um, and also, you know, back offices. Uh, I think due to security reasons, uh, people are required to work more from uh, from office and uh, cannot provide uh, too much flexibility there. Um, so, for example, SEB that is moving out from Uppalas, they are actually expanding uh, their back office uh, service center, and that's why Uppala was too too small for them. Uppala is a it's a good quality, actually very good quality property um, in in um, on the on the left side uh, bank of of uh, uh, River Daugava. So um, it is. Um, uh, has 2,000 square meter floor plates, and that's why uh, uh, the the new tenant uh, that has uh, also uh, we have been able to attract to Upmalas uh, likes the property. So um, there are uh, you know, and this new tenant is actually gathering their uh, uh, different small um, uh, let's say um, small premises, uh, people from the smaller premises into one. So they are uh, consolidating the premises. So we see that as well. Um, then in Lincoln, we see one of our anchor uh, uh, tenants also increasing their premises. Uh, but yes, in LNK's case, we saw a decrease. So um, I would say overall in the market, um, there is definitely increased competition uh, for, for tenants, and that's what we see also in, in Vilnius today uh, with Meraki. So uh, the the new reality in the office segment is trying to is 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 beginning to show um, you know some the new face. So um, I'd say the office market growth uh, is definitely expected to be smaller than. Um, let's say in the pre-COVID periods when uh, when it was you know the growth of 20 30 uh, percent annually, but um, you know as politics are still moving towards uh, you know service-based economies and and you know we have not near uh, not even comparable amount of office space compared to the the Nordic, so there's definitely going to be some uh, some growth. Uh, overall, uh, but I think uh, from the short uh, term period, uh, yes, there will be some reductions. There will be more competition. Um, so, uh, so, um, so in that sense, probably the new stability will be found within the next two or three years. Uh, what is the what is the new fit out for the for the for the offices needed and and the new standards uh, going forward with this life after COVID. A uh, question on uh, what 
proposals have we received uh, for our properties and, and which which ones? Um, I can probably generalize a bit. Um, I don't think uh, we have received um, pro offers for all of our properties, but uh, we received quite a few offers. Uh, most of them actually unsolicited, unsolicited offers. So, um, and um, I think what um, you know, looking back to the to the six months that uh, we had, uh, um, you know, there's definitely still buyers out there, and uh, and uh, I think the market can be satisfied with that. Of course, it's a cat and mouse game. Uh, what price? You know, what property? And uh, uh, but you know, I wouldn't say that the market is completely dead. I think uh, there are you know transactions happening uh, quite close to the valuation, at least uh, well, in our case. Um, so, uh, but um, uh, but let's say uh, certain offers that we have received, we consider them also based on our calculations again, uh, based on the potential that we see in our properties, uh, not. Uh, uh, not acceptable um, as a lot of uh, value uh, would be would be lost. Um, so uh, we do see, you know, we're signing some of these additional leases that a lot of value can be recovered, and, and that's again what we are working on um, as we speak. Um, So uh, there is a question on, on Galleria, and um, uh, so the um, uh, and and I guess that also goes to the yield of of Galleria and Europa, and to some extent, you know, Postima Plaza, which um, which has been lower the net yield, you know, running yield, you know, between three and four uh, percent. It has been improving gradually, and and will improve, I think, also in the coming quarters. Uh, but yes, it is still below, you know, our target yield, you know, which is close to, you know, six, six and a half percent on average. Um, uh, in the next, I think, quarter, uh, Galleria centers uh, for ground floor for Arket will be still under construction and fit out works. So no rent is actually received uh, from uh, from those premises. So. So that's why um, uh, the the recovery of the yield is is probably not happening too much um, uh, in the next quarter. But in Q4, definitely there would be a, a improvement there as well as in first quarter when the market effect should be uh, should be very visible. And since it would be the only market in 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 the, in, the, in Riga, I think again, like uh, it's a novelty, like we see in the food hall uh, perspective. You know, we're absolutely amazed what's happening there. People, you know, come there. You know, it's not cheap. You know, to have a um, a dining experience there, but uh, but just the views and the atmosphere and and the vibe. Uh, you know, that's what people want, and what's what people you know in in today's retail world uh, search for. Um, it's not you know again only food stores or fashion. It's about experience, and and uh, and we try we do it the best we can. You know, with with. Uh, with the concepts that uh, we can come up with, um, and and we believe that Arket will be uh, similar with their uh, with their um, you know little cafe there as well uh, in the, in the courtyard. Uh, so um, and looking forward to you know further enhancing them with with anchor tenants uh, that uh, that we're targeting. Uh, but again, that will take take probably um, um, another twelve to eighteen months to fully realize. So um, let me see if um, if there were any um, other questions. Um, so yeah, coming back maybe to the administration of the fund and and you know um, uh, we've been searching for uh, you know ways how to uh, you know cut costs you know reduce the marketing expenses also negotiated as much as possible with with lawyers and and uh, and auditors for better terms uh, 
um, decided to you know postpone certain expenses uh, for the future. So we really gone through uh, you know as as well the the, the cost uh, cutting as as much as possible. Um, of course, you know especially for our uh, new concepts, uh, we need to have some marketing uh, you know to promote it and and to get the NOIs. Um, improving so um, so, but but we we aim to be as as um, efficient as possible uh, uh, in that uh, in that regard. So let me see if there's more more questions. Um, So maybe yeah, just to just to summarize once again, uh, uh, it's it's been turbulent times, and uh, you know we're preparing for um, for uh, for for the upcoming period, uh, which will be also well challenging. Um, from uh, you know one end, uh, you know we're we're in economic recession already. Um, the the positive thing is that all the new new concepts uh, opening in our our uh, uh, shopping centers uh, in our, our centrally located assets uh, show uh, very positive results. So again, new concepts work. Uh, they are they are you know fresh news and and we see it from the results. So we see that you know we're working towards the right direction. Um, and and as well, the the turnover of the tenants hasn't really dropped uh, much. It has remained stable. Maybe hasn't shown. Uh, major increases now over the past uh, quarter, as it did, you know, uh, end of last year, uh, due to inflation, inflation, and and uh, price adjustments. So, uh, so, uh, but so we're cautiously optimistic there, uh, and especially yeah, the new concepts work, working on on decreasing the the vacancies. Uh, that's our primary goal. Uh, that will allow us to. Uh, to um, improve the um, the occupancies, the yields, get better bank loans, uh, and then we have more resources to pay back the the expensive loan. Uh, up until that, uh, you know, we we have disposed some assets, may continue to dispose even more if that's necessary to uh, have sufficient cash to go through this period uh, of. Uh, um, Re, uh, rejuvenation of the centrally located assets, and uh, and as I mentioned, you know the potential of roughly you know four to five million euros of additional NOI. Um, you know we see that as very tangible, uh, uh, dependent on these uh, new concepts and new leases, and uh, from that uh, a lot of value can be uh, restored, regained, um, instead of uh, you know looking for ways how to. How to dispose assets uh, in today's um, environment um, at uh, very unfavorable um, conditions. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, yes, um, we have uh, started discussions on refinancing of the loans also happening next year. Um, um, so uh, uh, they are well in motion. Um, we have good relationship with the banks uh, uh, who have made uh, quite uh, large profits uh, in the past uh, periods. So uh, um, we hope to achieve uh, um, uh, attractive terms uh, with the banks. It's yet early to see what terms. But uh, maybe one note I can give here is, is that we had, I think, the most difficult time uh, end of last year, beginning of this year, where disposals were not certain, uh, nothing was certain. Uh, banks uh, were um, very conservative uh, towards uh, you know, us being able to refinance the bond at all. Um, as you know, they saw what was happening in, in, the, in the Nordic market uh, in Sweden and Finland. Um, especially and and but after now um, after the past six months events uh, we've been you know uh, executing we've been able to um, 
execute uh, these uh, plans successfully and uh, and i think uh, going forward uh, we are in a, let's say a more um, predictable uh, or more certain um, situation as we were compared to end of last year uh, beginning of, uh, of this year So uh, I think thank you from my side. Hopefully this was informative. Uh, the work continues. Uh, and uh, if we have any additional news, of course, we will announce it uh, separately through a stock exchange. I think uh, one should expect some news uh, definitely in the upcoming uh, month or two. We're you know, looking for various ways how to how to you know, keep our cash buffers, uh, how to you know, get the best possible terms with our loan partners and uh, how to be also ready to, uh, to um, uh, attack the market and the opportunities um, in the upcoming periods. So uh, that's also something that we are, we are discussing with uh, some of our anchor investors and um, uh, that have a long-term view uh, you know, on the Baltics. So... Uh, all the best and let's be in touch.